In this video, we're going to look at how we can solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula, where the equation equals something other than 0. The significance of that is before we use the quadratic formula, the equation must always equal 0. As we make the equation equal 0, we'll also remember that generally we like the x squared term to be positive. So in this example, 25x squared equals 30x plus 11. The 25x squared is currently positive, so we're going to keep it over here on the left side, and we'll subtract 30x and subtract 11 from both sides. And when we do that, the right side of the equation becomes 0 like we want it to. Now we have on the left side, 25x squared minus 30x, minus 11. Now we're ready to use the quadratic formula, which says x is equal to the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a. And we recall that a is the x squared number, b is the x number, and c is the constant term, and it's really important that the equation equals 0. So plugging into the quadratic formula, x is equal to the opposite of b, which makes it positive 30, plus or minus the square root of b, which is negative 30 squared, minus 4a, which is 25, c, which is negative 11, all over 2a, which is 25. And now we just have to simplify this to get our final answer. As I simplify, I always do the exponents and the multiplication first, so we get x equals 30, plus or minus the square root of 30 squared, which is 900, because we have a negative 4 and a negative 11, a negative times a negative is going to be a positive 1100, all over 2 times 25, or 50. Now, we can add inside the radical to get x equals 30, plus or minus the square root of 2,000, all over 50. Now, we can't take the square root of 2,000 exactly, but let's see what happens when we factor it. We've got 2 times 1,000. 1,000 can be, let's make it 10 times 100. 10 is 2 times 5, 100 is 10 times 10, and 10 is 2 times 5, and 10 is 2 times 5. And then, looking for pairs that can come out of the radical, we can pull a 2 out, another 2 out, a 5 out, and leaves a 5 behind. So we have x equals 30, plus or minus, on the outside, 2 times 2 times 5 is 20, and left inside the radical is 5, all over 50. We can't actually do the plus or minus part on this equation, because the 30 doesn't have a radical and the 20 does. They're not like terms. But we can try and reduce the fraction if we do it correctly. Recall, to reduce a fraction, we must factor first. We can't just reduce the 30 and the 50. That doesn't work. Whoops. Where did my over 50 go? But what we can do is we can identify that there's a common factor in the numerator of 10, leaving behind 3 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 50. And now we can reduce the 10 over 50, leaving a 5 behind in the denominator. This gives us our final answer of 3 plus or minus 2 root 5, all over 5, for our final solution. To use the quadratic formula, then, it's important that we first make the equation equal to 0. After it equals 0, we can identify a, b, and c, and plug them in the quadratic formula and simplify. If we can't take the square root perfectly, we'll simplify the radical, and maybe even simplify the fraction if we can factor a GCF out first.